This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday afternoon, the 23rd day of December, Christmas Eve Eve. And boy, what a messy storm affecting so much of the country. So let's get right to it. Around here, the uh, sky generally cloudy, but that's the uh, Chiha Skype cam. You can see some filtered sunshine there from Alabama's highest mountain just south of Anniston. Temperatures mostly in the upper 50s. That's the uh, Demopolis sky cam, some darker clouds overhead. Boy, that low sun angle is so uh, obvious in these photographs. This is right at the uh, solstice, of course, and uh, we'll see that angle increasing in coming days with longer days, but uh, the sky there mostly cloudy. And from Gulf Shores, what's that thing down there in the water on the uh, right? I saw that, and I have no earthly idea what that thing is. But uh, Christmas is actually a wonderful time to spend down there at the beach. We went down uh, last year right after Christmas. Fantastic. All right, there's your big storm. Whopper of a trough coming out of the southwest. A variety of inclement weather in advance of that thing. There's the regional radar composite. We've got some echoes over northwest Alabama. Not sure if those are reaching the ground. It is raining near Memphis. And thunderstorms firing back off to the west. And goodness gracious, that thing is illuminated like a brightly decorated Christmas tree. That's about as crazy as it gets on a watch warning map. We've got everything from uh, blizzard warnings and winter storm watches and warnings up from the Texas panhandle to the Canadian border. Flash flood watches from Shreveport up to Chicago. The uh, Tennessee Valley of extreme north Alabama under a flash flood watch, parts of Mississippi. And a tornado watch now for parts of uh, eastern Texas. But again, if you're traveling, just pick out your destination and you can kind of see you know, where... You're going to wind up having problems. There's our watch box, the tornado watch, in effect until 9 o'clock Central Time tonight for a large part of uh, eastern Texas, west Louisiana, that corner of Arkansas down there around Texarkana and southeast Oklahoma, including McAllister. In fact, there have been some tornado warnings out there this afternoon. There's the uh, risk for the rest of today and tonight. East Texas, east Oklahoma, west Louisiana, and west Arkansas. That's the standard slight risk. Now, tomorrow, we've got a slight risk for the southern part of Alabama, south of a line from near uh, Butler to Greenville to Dothan. And that includes places like Mobile, Gulf Shores, Atmore, Monroeville, Jackson. It does not include uh, the northern half of the state. And there's the probabilities, the higher chance of severe weather actually right there over New Orleans, Biloxi, Mobile. And, again, the big limiting factor up here is the instability. We'll take a closer look in just a bit. All right, on the uh, cold air side, uh, look at that. There's a mesoscale discussion for ice, freezing rain. Some really nasty icing in progress over parts of uh, Iowa uh, today. Very uh, significant ice loads there. Uh, there's a look at the uh, snow band for today. Running from Oklahoma up to the Canadian border. Tomorrow, Christmas Eve, heaviest snow from Kansas City up to uh, International Falls, Minnesota. And on Christmas Day, snow continues up north. Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin. They will have a white Christmas. In fact, many folks up there will have a blizzard uh, tomorrow, which is the last thing you want. Whiteout conditions and nearly impossible travel. Here's a QPF chart. Expected precipitation for the next five days. Total valid through Monday morning at uh, 6 o'clock. Suggesting two inches of rain around here. Uh, we'll get a lot of rain tomorrow and tomorrow night. Uh, heavy is still north and west of here. All right, let's look at the uh, GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow, noon Christmas Eve day, negative tilt trough. Down below that, very deep surface low near Fort Smith, Arkansas. And if we had instability, we would be looking at a major severe weather outbreak. Thank goodness it's pretty limited, but I'm telling you what, uh, you cannot ignore the dynamics here. Uh, screaming wind fields and uh, that kind of setup. Even with the lack of instability, it's problematic. We'll go to midnight tomorrow night. The surface low is located near Columbia, Missouri, uh, with the band of thunderstorms rotating through here. And uh, we looked at the RPM model. This is the rapid precision mesoscale model, and it is a little more aggressive with the instability values. This is surface-based CAPE, and it's really got uh, some uh, values exceeding 1,000 joules up in here. Th that particular time is valid at uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, so... 
while we still don't expect a major problem with severe weather, you just can't ignore the dynamics. We'll have to be on our toes watching for problems here, not only from severe thunderstorms, but also the gradient wind, heavy rain, maybe blowing some trees down as the uh, ground gets saturated. And there's the uh, shear, and we all know that's going to be sky high. And that certainly would support rotating updrafts. So uh, very active weather tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. Christmas Day, storms are gone. We turn cold. Even a hint of snow flurries Christmas morning over the Tennessee Valley. It'll be cloudy and cold. Temperatures settling down toward 40 throughout the day. Uh, the wind will make it feel colder. Saturday, cold and dry. Highs in the mid-40s. And the same thing on Sunday, the weather cold and dry. Let's look at next week. Uh, this is Monday, the 28th. Cool and dry Tuesday. Here comes our new shortwave. But on this run, the GFS just kind of shunts it to the south and no big deal. Trust me, this will change. Uh, this is a very challenging pattern, and I wouldn't be shocked if we had a big rain mass that shows up again for Wednesday with some chance of snow on the northern flank of that. Uh, Thursday, New Year's Eve. Again, you can see that unsettled weather in the Gulf. Cold air stays in place, and on uh, New Year's Day, Big storm rolling up the eastern seaboard. Uh, we look cold and dry. And look at January 2nd. Man, is that cold. Wow. Big vortex up north. Uh, very cold air in place. Suggestive of maybe snow or snow flurries in there somewhere on the 3rd. Cold air gets deeper. Uh, if this is right, we would not get out of the 20s all day. Of course, this is voodoo. We all know that, but you just get the idea. This thing is looking cold and unsettled. Into the forecast, the 8th of January. Not as cold on that look, uh, but still pretty cold with highs only in the 40s, if this is right. But again, uh, very interesting, active weather coming up in the days ahead. So hang on for a wild ride. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We're going to go to a holiday schedule tomorrow. We'll just do one video per day for a while uh, as we are uh, trying to ease into some time with our families. Uh, but, of course, we'll have updates on the blog uh, constantly. That's alabamawx.com. And if you're sticking around and you're local to us, join us on the news tonight. I'll be there, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.